Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another Elite War gameplay. We still have a minute left until we can join. I buffed up so we can quickly do our evil tyrant here. And I used my fast expansion plus 15% buffs. So yeah, that's done. We still have a minute left. I'd like to use some of these Elite War videos often to talk about what's currently going on, what I'm thinking about changing. And lately I have two thoughts about what I want to adjust. One of the things is I'm considering to recast my Guardian Breastplate Enhancement from Reduced Damage from Mages to something different like uh, Reduced Damage from Angels or Reduced Damage from Archers, probably preferably from Angels, simply because I do have three artifacts like the Golden Armor, the Colored Witch, and the Grizzly artifact that give me reduced damage from, or reduced damage from, taken from mages. So I come up with a total amount in my war gear of, let's see, 92.4%, uh, which is quite good. But if I subtract 17.5 from that, it would still be around 74, uh, 75. And that's still pretty good. And some of the other numbers are a bit weak in my opinion. Let's quickly look for reduced damage taken from angels. 34.7, that is okay, I'd say, but can be better. And reduced damage taken from um, archers should be at around a few percent, if I remember correctly. Taken from infantry archers, they are 17.2. So. If we would add another 17.5 on that, that would balance everything out a bit more, even though I'm still fighting against a lot of different, oh, I missed there. <laughs> um, even though I'm still fighting against mages pretty often, I think that in the long run, more and more players will simply adjust to archers. And I am seeing more castles playing archers, also castles where I'd say, hmm, okay, I am able to win this fight. It's not like I'm fighting against this super high budget player that enters an event with, let's say, like 600k March size and not those guys. Also guys that are more around my level and there they are speeding. All right. I think I'll just recall here quickly, run back in the normal way and we will see what they'll do. I mean, they are playing it wisely. They blocked our whole army there on the side and now they are speeding our base and yeah i'm pretty sure oh there's a very high chance that they will win if they block correctly i mean they are doing it pretty well maybe a bit too fast some of them didn't catch the call to simply speed we are winning in our base there apparently some of us made the recall happen and yeah pretty quick and dope play by our opponent i like it they've seen an opportunity there we should come to or adjust our playstyle to um, play better with our main unit pool. Here, always what I personally think is always the way to approach Elite War when you think that you are kind of like evenly matched when it comes to troop count or player count. Always meet in the middle and find out who is stronger. That is uh, always a good adjustment. Uh, we shall launch an attack to three. Yeah, and as I was saying, this is why I think that uh, or why I would like to recast this enhancement. Of course, recasting costs Obsidian Steel too, and it might delay some other enhancements of mine. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about these thoughts, like reducing some of my reduced damage taken from mages to something like reduced damage taken from angels or from archers. From angels, I think in a lot of events, even though they are non-loss events, it can still have a pretty good impact as everybody knows that angels are the strongest unit in the game. So it would be dope uh, to just have an overall better event performance. For example, also in the wilderness battlefield, it is an event that in my opinion is heavily focused around big budget players because reaching the latest stage will face you only with, or will only match you with very strong players. But um, it's still the point 
where I think, okay, even though I know I'll make it probably always to the uh, second last stage, I think it can be good to um, have a good performance in this event. I think it's kind of funny. I like the concept of it. I just think um, the final stage just isn't for players like me, for example. Quickly have to check what's going on here. Okay, pretty strong guys speeded in there. Oh, we barely have players at home. All right, but they seem to win. Some of us made uh, or got the call to speed in. The rest is now speeding. I'm just quickly checking if I want to port home. And now we are good to go here. All right. The rest of us is speeding to the mid or to seven. All right, that's good. I just slow walk there. The battle is already over anyways. So um, or also reduces damage taken from archers with my cavalry having the passive skill with 25% and then um, my 17 point something percent I had uh, shown a few minutes ago. It's still around like 34 roundabout or 25 and uh, 17 is like um, 17, 25 is still at around 42 something. And with another 17% on that, we would be around 60% of reduces damage taken from archers for my cavalry. That's something that I'd like. And that sounds very balanced, even in when I then know, okay, my reduces damage taken from mages is around 75% roundabout. That's pretty good. What I am also considering to do, I once already, oh, okay, they are speeding. Are we speeding too? Our leader tends to like calls to speed. Yeah, okay, he is calling it. So let's see. Some of us are wisely blocking there. That's cool. Okay, upon this recalling, I would like to go back and show you what I'm talking about. So I have this one beast skill that increases my damage increased or uh, increases damage against infantry. I have a Mjolnir artifact that increases damage against infantry. And I somewhere also have damage increased against infantry. Um, but I think that I do have a lot of damage increased against infantry. Uh, quickly, I want to know this now. How much is it? Uh, damage increased against infantry, 38.8%, 12.3 against cavalry. So, and with this skill comes 19.6. All right, that's already a lot. But 13 are coming from there and the rest is probably from um, Zodiacs and stuff like that. And I'd like to be better against cavalry. Uh, I face them so often and I always think, hmm, I could deal more damage against them. Ooh, there will be an interesting battle. Probably the strongest player in our lines facing one of their strongest players. Sadly, yeah, our uh, strongest player is using the elite for, uh, war formation that we called and it is, yeah, horrible for players that um, play solo. It should be slightly adjusted, I do have to say. But um, yeah, okay. He's just following orders, so fine for me. I personally have adjusted it a bit for the reason that I can uh, also play solo with this formation. 37.15, he wants us to speed, okay. So I'm thinking about resetting uh, my uh, life saw, not life saw speed skill, but that's also a thing that I consider resetting. I am considering to, um, let's see, yeah, same thing happening again. Although the opponent is also pretty strong. Uh, I think I missed the speed call there. Yep, I did. Let's see. Okay, their strongest player is attacking our base. We are winning in there. Okay, two of them are attacking our base. I do think that one of the wisest calls for me is to port back. Yes, yeah, they are definitely winning. And let's see, as soon as we won there, I will, s yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, didn't see that one coming. 
wasn't able to port back in time. Overall, yeah. Funny Elite War, but we didn't respect the yeah strong solo players. Overall, fun one, but now I do have some better uh, view of what I want to change. So what I'm also thinking about is I'd like to have the Apollo's bow. Uh, don't get me wrong on this one. The I just think it's a very cool artifact and I would like to have the additional crit chance of it uh, with the skill. I really like it, although I do have to say that the overall array level is also something that I really enjoy. 11% is quite a lot in my opinion and the overall artifact or set improvement is, yeah, not looking down on that one. I always remember to check that one out. But I do want to say that I kind of feel like I have way too much for for my uh, for my level of playing i think i do have too much damage increased against infantry and i would like to break it down a bit more to more damage uh, increased against cavalry for example but i do have to say i don't know where to get it also i do have to say that resetting these skills or investing these into some other skills will lose you a lot of beast skill e experience so i'm not really sure about it same thing with the life source i am very happy with my hp pool uh, but the skill gives 16.8 that is quite a lot but then i would go down to yeah let's say like 285 on cavalry which is still pretty good and i could get another defensive skill or offensive skill into it and uh, yeah these are current thoughts of mine overall this video what is about the elite war and yeah, sadly we lost this one, but maybe we'll get those guys next time. And then I would say, see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.